Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about where I buy my books because I've been asked this question so much throughout the three years that I've been making booktube videos. I finally want to answer that question in video form so everyone will know where to buy books the cheapest way. If you guys have any tips for me on where I can find cheap books myself, I would always love to know because I don't ever stop buying books. Let's start with the first website where I buy my books. I believe like 80% of the time and that is Amazon so because I'm from the Netherlands we don't really have like an amazon.nl I do buy my books every single time from amazon.de which is the German Amazon. The plus side of that is that this Amazon ships books for free to the Netherlands, which I'm so happy about. Thank you, God. Amazon is usually quite sharp with their prices. If you look really well and very like deep into the book section on Amazon, you can sometimes even get hardcovers for five to ten euros, which I have found a lot of the times. I always say that in my book hauls when I have a really cheap hardcover, it's usually from Amazon and their prices sometimes can be really, really good. Sometimes they can be quite bad, but you would just have to like look at the site almost every single day if you want to find really good deals. Also not good for your wallet so warnings to that. A really good tip for when shopping on Amazon they have a second hand section in it so people sell the same book for a lot cheaper. Usually they also have like Amazon warehouse deals where the book is like a little bit damaged and then it's also sold through Amazon so there's still no shipping and the book is cheaper which I have used that option a lot which I love but you also have just like different sellers from different countries and they usually ask three euros shipping so keep that in mind amazon is my favorite site i've been using it for four <laughs> years right now ever since i started watching booktube depending on which country you come from you can use amazon.co.uk if you're from the uk from america amazon.com i wish i was from america because books would then be even more cheap my second site which i use the most after amazon is a bookdepository.co.uk this is also a site that that sells with free shipping, which is absolutely amazing. And what I usually do is I buy most of my paperbacks from this website because they are the cheapest on Book Depository. Usually around like seven to eight euros, which is a great deal for a paperback. One big plus side from Book Depository is that they have a lot of different editions from different books. If you want to get a special edition from a book, Book Depository is the best. You need to go on that website because maybe you want to have a US edition or a UK edition or a hardcover or a 10 year anniversary edition. Like I don't know what you want, but you can usually find it on Book Depository. You do have to wait a long time for the book to arrive, usually around like one and a half to two weeks. So while on Amazon, it's usually a couple of days. Then for my Dutchies, the third site that I use sometimes, not that often because their price especially with hardcovers is not that great is bull.com or in Dutch bull.com if you pay more than 20 euros you get free shipping and the shipping is usually really fast like the next day or the day after that so that is definitely a plus side sometimes they can have really sharp prices with like their paperbacks in English it depends you really have to look very well on bull.com for uh, finding books very cheap those are the three sides that I buy my books from but now a couple of tips if you want to buy books outside of like web shops so you can join different Facebook groups from like book lovers all around the world or in your country. I've joined a Facebook group about books and I see people posting almost every single day a photo in that Facebook group being like, okay, I want to sell these books. So this is how much it costs with shipping, blah, blah, blah. You can maybe like get books through that and maybe even cheaper than when you would buy it on a website or in stores. You can also buy books through Instagram because for instance, I sold a couple of my books because I was unhauling a couple of them. I put them on my Instagram story and then I sold quite some of those books. And if you want to buy books like in store, that is usually <laughs> the most expensive option. You are supporting a bookshop or like your local bookstore. Waterstones in the UK has a great deal usually which is like buy one get one half price which always gets me because then I always buy two books at least. Those are all the websites that I wanted to mention to you guys and the tips that I wanted to give you as well. Hopefully they will help. Let me know in the comments down below where you buy your books or if you have any tips for me because I always need them. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Again thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!